Uh, so Debbie, we've moved down the wall. We have. We've moved from watercolor to acrylic, but these are actually acrylic pourings and they're fascinating. Yes, yes. Uh, so maybe you'd tell us about technique with these two bear, bears. Acrylic pouring is fun. I've been playing with it a little bit and I just started and then I decided to paint on top of them once they dried and it gave it kind of a, and then I poured the white back on top of the bear after I painted it. But this is done with the paint. You pour the paint on in a line and then you drag it. And so this was dragged up and then this was dragged down. And once you drag it, it blends and it makes the little bubbles. And then from the top, I poured more paint and I dragged this down. And that made that top part. It doesn't look heavy on the canvas though. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Yeah, it's, you don't put it on real, real heavy and you can turn it and let it pour off. Uh -huh. it, it's a messy, it's a messy one, but it's fun. But, but the bear's the focus. But the bear's the focus. And this is perhaps the bear at night. And this is the bear at night in the forest. I tried to do the green and the blues. And then when I went to paint the bear on, you can kind of see, I left the bear, it's just almost outlined. Yeah, yeah. And then I did the eyes and the snout and the nose and what it really the eyes glow. What is the impetus for using this method? Uh, what was it that that drove you to present these bears in this way? I think I was just doing the poor painting and I decided I wanted to paint on top of them, my animals. And for some reason, this period of time, I was painting bears and I even have more bears at home. I, I enjoy painting them. So for some reason, both of these got bears. Wonderful. <laughs>